This is Wiser Notify, a way of using notifications as social proof. And I tested Wiser Notify for one week where I created one notification for my website pointing to my YouTube channel. So let's dive in and see the results. Before we dive into the results, I want to show you and talk a little bit about the platform overall. Because normally when we talk about social proof, it is definitely testimonials we look at or reviews. But in this case, you can also use notifications and especially activity. So as an example, if you're running an e-commerce website, then you can use previous orders as social proof. So you create this more safe environment for people. But it's super important you're careful the way you use it because if you spam it, you can easily make it look not authentic and then it will lose its value. And if you're running a service company or a blog, for instance, you can still use Wiser Notify as a social proof because you can add these activity notifications where you can see something like X from Denmark is now reading this article with you. So by doing this, then you create this sense of togetherness that you're reading this article together and it creates this more safe environment to continue to read on this blog. But using the Wiser Notify platforms, it is super easy to manage your notifications, both create new ones, check the analytics for your notifications, delete and of course manage and edit your notifications. There is an entire process where you're taking through the three different steps where each step is elaborated. So you start out by designing and choosing what notification do you want. And I will really recommend you to start with a template. It makes it so much easier. Then with the template, you can now choose to design it however you want it to fit into your design. It's important that it looks more or less like your website because otherwise, again, you will lose a little bit about the trust using these notifications. But as soon as you're ready with your design, then it's time to target this notification. Where do you want to show it? Who is the target group for the notification? Because you can segment on country, where they're coming from, if they're a returning visitor, a new visitor, UTM, and so much more. When you have the targeting done, then it's time to choose where the data should come from. And what I really like about Wise and Notify here is that they do everything they can to avoid allowing fake data. This means that you can't necessarily just pull in fake orders and say, these are my orders. Wise and Notify really takes a step further to Try to avoid this because that just ruins the experience so much. And overall, using these notifications, I think you need to be on the limb because if you use them right, they can definitely benefit to increase your conversion rate or your reading time or whatever it is you want to try to achieve with Wise and Notify. But used wrongly, it will just ruin your website. So just be careful the way you use it. You can always reach out to the Wise and Notify support. They're super helpful and they will always be able to help with whatever issue or question you have. At least that has been my experience so far. And when you have your notification set up, then you can easily build a second one. Because with the targeting, then you can easily have multiple notifications running in different areas and different sections of your website. Just make sure you don't have multiple notifications popping up because that will just make the user or the reader lose focus on where to focus. And again, it will become a negative thing. So have multiple notifications, but make sure they don't overlap. But on top of all of this, and especially when you work with the data point, the third step in creating your notification, then Wise and Notify has hundreds of integrations. And these integrations can both be used to pull in data to show on the notifications, but they can also be used to push data out. So let's say a notification can be something that collects data for you. Automatically, you will be able to push that data to a third party integration. Very, very interesting. And the newest module they have just released is a social wall or a wall of love, as they call it. And this is separated into two parts. The first part is where you can pull in tweets or Facebook posts or Instagram posts that is related to you. So here you enter a keyword or your username and then automatically Wise and Notify will pull the most relevant tweets or Instagram posts for that specific username or keyword and then basically make a wall for you. The other way is the review wall. And here you can pull in data from Captera, Facebook, Google, Google Place, and so much more. Here I am missing Trustpilot and Product Hunt, 
but it's great to see they already have this amount of integrations and hopefully more coming soon because this is a great add-on and this is what we normally know when we talk about social proof. That is the wall that shows that people are using this, they are interacting with this product or this website and they love using it. That is what creates that social proof feeling that we feel safe to interact with the website ourselves. But to get back to the introduction where I talked about the results, here they are. And you can see I got engagement, I got views, and I got people actually hovering over the notification, but I only got two clicks. Whether this is a lot or not a lot, I will let that be up to you. But I think it's a decent start. I have not optimized this notification at all. It's my first notification I've been running. So I feel it's okay as a start to get two clicks on a notification I haven't optimized at all. Of course, I would like to get a lot more, but I feel it's a decent start. But if you want to try it out on your own website, then you can start completely free using Wiser Notify. They have a free plan of up to 1000 web visitors. And if you feel just a little bit intrigued, then I will definitely recommend you trying it out. You can always remove it if it's not for you. Personally, I will continue to try out Wiser Notify, but if I don't see a higher results or a higher in conversion rate, then I might stop in the future because it can be a disturbing element for the visitors on the website. But in the future, then they are adding more notification types like live visit, where you can see someone exactly the same time as you doing something on the website. They're adding personalized messages and they're adding bestsellers on the day where you can see a specific product or item has been sold the most on that specific day. They are adding a lot more of these notifications. And I think that's crucial for the Wiser Notify to keep adding these types of notifications. Overall, when I research on Wiser Notify to see what other people think, then their users are really happy, not only with the platform itself, but also with the support. And that is also what I have been saying. The support is really rapid and super helpful. But the platform overall, I think is the most important part. It's so easy to manage your notifications, A-B test, create new experiments and overall just test out all of the different types of notifications with targeting and so much more. And that is why I want to give Wiser Notify four and a half stars. It's really a solid product and a solid platform, but if they can tweak the design a little bit and add more integrations to the wall of fame, then I think we'll have a five star product in the future. But if you want to see how you can build content to test these Wiser Notify notifications, then watch my latest review of Context Minds up here. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.